Hello there, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we are playing as Bulgaria with the Battle for the Apostorus DLC. Now, in which this case, in this country, we will be playing as a democratic Bulgaria because... Why not? So we're led by Boris III, and normally I show you like the custom game rules before everything, and just like end of the setup. Um, I didn't do this time just because I want to get through this as fast as possible because we have a lot of focuses to do. Now we can do power to the Tsar, but to become democratic, we got to oppose the royal dictatorship. And unfortunately, this is a 70-day focus. Oh my goodness! If we want to end the oppressive regime of Tsar Boris, we must begin by seeking the necessary support to exert significant opposition to the gov current government, which is entirely made up of Tsarist puppets. In which we get less political power, but oh well. So this is Bulgaria. We have the second national catastrophe, which will be removed if Greater Bul Bulgaria is restored with Sofia, Vladiv. Mosia, Burgas, Southern Serbia, Macedonia, Central Macedonia, Thrace, and Dobruja. So, my goal is to get down there. Actually, my goal really, like I said, is to become democratic, but we want to form a Balkan confederation. Also, I want to let you know that th we have, we do not have historical focuses on. I want to see what's going to happen in this world in vanilla. The mods I'm using are none at the time of this recording. No mods are working except for the Thousand Week Reich and maybe Player of the Peace Conferences. I'm not sure about that, but I'll let you probably know in the next episode. Regardless, I do want to go with a Balkan Confederation. We want to bury the grudges of the past because I do want to do the unification of the Balkans. Uh, we get a core in every Balkan state, and any Balkan nation allied with Bulgaria will get the event unification of the Balkans, and we can deal with the Turkish territories. We could maybe go down three of the Balkan states, but I'd rather integrate everyone here. Even though with this one, you do get plus 1,000 weekly manpower, which actually isn't too bad. Yeah. Not affected by countries guaranteed. Cool. And we can attack enemies that own Bulgarian territory or Balkan territory, but I really do want to try a Balkan confederation. But we'll see what happens. When you leave off historical AI, it, it just gets a little wonky, we'll say, just the way things are set up. So we'll see what happens. I can't promise you anything, but we'll do the best we possibly can with the remilitarization of the Rhineland. And if you want to know about how to get democratic Bulgaria, you've got to pretty much promote democracy as fast as possible. Now we do need to get rid of Sveno, which is more of the communist faction. Actually, I need to talk about the whole decisions here, but let's do democratic principles first. While our main objective is to end the authoritarian regime of the Tsar, we cannot allow totalitarian communist government to be established in its place. We must stay true to democratic ideals and seek to increase the influence of like-minded ministers in the government. We get political power, stability, more democracy, which would be great. And let us begin talking about this, the faction management. Bulgarian society and politics are divided into multiple factions, with which the government will have to deal with. Among the most relevant are the Sveno, a nationalist organization founded by army officers, which kind of pushes you towards communist things, I think. The Broad Socialist, a social democrat uh, supporting broad class alliances. Maybe I'm wrong about the Sveno, but I don't know. The Bulgarian Union, which we kind of like, devoted to questioning or questions concerning agriculture, and the National Social Movement, a far-right organization which we might end up banning, which we also might not end up banning, depending on what we want to do. But for now, what we're going to do is we are going to save up some political power. We already have this guy, the Tsar's puppet, gives us more weekly stability, which is nice, and more daily political power. However, we can we cannot select our military theorists because, well, we to get this guy, you should not have chosen oppose the royal dictatorship, so we don't get any daily army XP gain, maybe for this entire campaign, which really sucks. However, I'm going to try to immediately get Stocho Mushanov, just because we want to get as much daily democracy support as possible, because Boris here, he gives us more daily unaligned support, which we don't want. We want to become democratic and hopefully get allied nations in with us, but we'll see what happens. And I guess the UK has chosen their path. The black shirts organized in the UK. Well, good luck with that. But yeah, so with this, my goal is to crush this Veno, crush the broad socialists, Help out the Aguirre Union, and with the National Social Movement, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but worker strikes. Members of the broad socialist faction have joined the communists in their effort to ignite national strikes among industrial workers. Through clandestine assemblies and meetings, they have managed to gather great support and sympathy among the Bulgarian proletariat. We must proceed with caution when opposing order in the regions where these strikers are most popular, lest the situation escalate into something more serious than the mere strikes. They get more popularity, or we must crush them at any cost. We will crush them at any cost. And I'm going to repress them immediately. Because I don't want to deal with them. The riots caused collateral damage. Following the intervention of our forces against the strikers. 
Violent clashes and riots spread among the industrial areas. In Flovdiv, the riots damaged a number of civilian factories. The riots also led to damage and blocked roads, railways, and transportation in Flovdiv. An unfortunate outcome, whatever. So, let's see. Three days left, let's do this one first. We get basic machine tools. Ooh, basic machine tools, nice. Uh, let's grab some dispersed industry because I like dispersed industry. And we shall soon have, ooh, repress broad socialists. We've successfully cracked down on the broad, broad socialists. Arresting members who have reportedly tried to instigate, provoke, protest, or provoke riots among the population. They got what they deserve. We lost stability, but hopefully we'll do okay with that. It shouldn't be too bad. So, here's what I want to ask you guys, and I'll let you guys decide. We have we can ban far-right organizations, which allows us to repress the National Social Movement, which are basically the fascist movement in Bulgaria, as far as I understand. Or, we can restrain paramilitary organizations. Now, I might want to go down this path, because we get war support. We might get some more non-aligned fascism support. But, and this is a huge but, we can get... 500 weekly manpower. That can be really, really good. But I will leave it up to you guys. Should we restrain paramilitary organizations, or should we just ban far-right organizations right out? I'll let you guys decide just because that 500 weekly manpower, we have nothing right now. We literally have nothing. I mean, we're on volunteer only. We have a population of 6 million. That's not going to be enough. So, I will leave it up to you guys, even though I'll let you know I am pulling for restrained paramilitary organizations, because we can always deal with the Hopefully, usually deal with the national social movement, but I'll leave it up to you guys. So, right now, we're going to support the Aguirre Union. We could seek cooperation with the Tsar, and if you go down this path, you can do Petorkata, and then liberalization trade policies, in which you can plot against Boris, and you can get Ferdinand the first, but that's not going to be for this path, because if you go down that way, then you can go down the fate of the Balkans, and eventually, you can do either restore the Bulgarian Patriarch, Patri Patriarchat, or the third of Bulgarian Empire, which sounds great. But we want to go down with this path for this campaign, so we must choose support. Uh, the Agarian Union, even though we could dissolve the Union, this Union right now, we could use that political power. Ooh, actually, we get more democracy support that way. Right now, first of all, we want to get this guy. We want to get more political power. This is only 35 days. Let's get the political power first, and we can repress this then, though. Because, ooh, that gives us more daily political power. I don't want to do this yet, just because that populated 5% democracy... You want to save that for last, because as you get more and more support for any ideology, the amount of support you get decreases daily. Well, the, the amount that you get decreases. You still get more, but the amount you get decreases. So we want to save that one, after we get our democracy dude. So, let's dissolve the military union. This Veno holds too much influence over our officers. And there's real resentment among the ranks after Tsar Boris ousted them from power in 35. If we want to avoid a Sveno coup, we must gather our officers in Sofia and announce the dissolution of the military union, which gives us political power, 15% more stability, which is great. It's going to hurt our training time and army leader costs, but it gives us more daily army XP gain, or it does not do that. It gives us more army experience gain, and their loyalty goes down, which is fine with me. Awesome. And there goes Ethiopia. Ooh, U.S. passes neutrality acts, so they're not going to go, like, rebellious, right? It's been a while since I played as USA. Ooh, Texas. They went WPA, so they went with continue the New Deal. They did not reestablish a gold standard. I guess technically they could still go with suspend persecution and get more communist support. But even then, their communists are just democratic socialists, so eh, I guess Communist Party, CP USA, whatever. It's still 36, which is fine with me now. Since we can't get a military theorist, we have two naval theorists. We have a normal guy, kind of a sort of a generic guy, or we have Sava in. Ivanov, Naval Aviation Pioneer, which you get Base Strike Doctrine, plus 15%. And Base Strike means that we want to go with carriers. Hmm. Okay, a Bulgarian carrier? Why not? I think for now, we could get artillery. We're not going to get any military factors even to use these, or even really dockyards. But just in case, why don't we make Bulgarian carriers? I think that sounds like a, a pleasant, pleasant idea. Yeah, let's keep wa waiting, because if you... To get things done faster, you have to go democratic as fast as possible. At least for my no, testing of this so far at the time of this recording. Now, eventually, we want to get the leader of the Ugarian Union. We get political power gain, more max factories in the state, which is going to be very important. We lose some resources, but Bulgaria has no resources to speak up. And we get more daily democracy support, so we'll wait and see. Next up, we shall do... 
Ooh, we can condemn Macedonian organizations or support them. Now, we don't want to support them because we need to demonstrate our policies of peace decision later on so we can rearm. Because right now, we cannot rearm due to our national spirits, which I'll show you in a little bit. But let's go ahead and fight Macedonian revolutionary organizations. It's only 35 days. We must proclaim our displeasure towards IMRO and start working on hunting down and eliminating any Macedonian revolutionary cells still operating in Bulgaria, finally putting an end to what the Sveno started in 34 and improving our foreign relations with it. Nice. And let's immediately grab the Democratic Reformer because we have to get that as fast as possible, as I've said before. But since we have a little bit more political power, my goal is hopefully get to partial mobilization. That'd be good. So we can build more factories up. But also, we want to... I'm going to dispose of the generals first. I want to get rid of Sveno as much as possible. Just get rid of them. Lower their popularity. They have no loyalty. But democratic opposition is forming. Relaxing the restrictions on what sort of the anti-Tsar Boris loyalist propaganda can be spread publicly has, predictably, led to an increase in public in expressions of dissent. Organized demonstrations of pamphlets are so far mostly found in academic institutions in some of Bulgaria's more unfortunate areas. But there's little doubt that the movement is spreading. The nation's leaders are torn over the issue. Boris III, who maintains an iron grip on party leadership, has little desire to diversify public debate. The first steps have already been taken, however, and there may be no turning back. The movement appears to be growing naturally in the absence of repression. Cool. Very, very good. So if we eventually, once we dispose of Sveno, the entire like party in the group, we actually get political power, and I believe some stability as well, so that's what we're kind of going for right now. Prepare for civil war, democracy on the rise. Ooh, I don't think I want to prepare for civil war. Let's not get too crazy here, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to support the Algerian Union, so we're going to legalize the Algerian Union faction, preventing us from oppressing them in the future, except to prevent radical dissidents, basically. Cool. And the Bulgarian government condemns the IMRO, it's time to destroy the, the organization. We should purchase the Soviet Union. And let us go ahead and support the Algerian Union, which I'm completely ignoring this path over here. Like, we can get one research slot, but then we can grab a second research slot too, so we can have a total of five eventually, which would be very nice. But at the current time, Bulgarian rearmament, that's important, but I'm going to try to get through this as fast as possible for the political side. So, support the Algerian Union. The ideas of the Bulgarian Algerian, Bulgarian Algerian, National Union and economic matters may differ slightly from ours, but if we leave these trifles behind, its members could align themselves with their policies. We must therefore proceed to legalize this organization and seek cooperation between our parties, for if we are to lead Bulgaria towards a real democracy, we need all the support we can get. We get political power, stability, we lose some more support, whatever, get more democracy for now, which I know we could have done this earlier, but I want to get down here as fast as possible just because I want to form a popular block as well, get even more democracy, which is good. And then we can get full voting rights for women, so we get women's rights, you get more daily political power, weekly stability plus 0.5, which is pretty nice, and more daily democracy support. So, I know I said earlier that I wanted a way to get that, which is fine, the Turkish... Oh, boy, the Turkish-Soviet War. I have not seen this yet. If you want to read about it, that's terrible. Oh, over the straits. Um, so they're going with that policy. Okay. Now, I've never seen this before. This is interesting. What's gonna happen? Oh, I'm joining with my cat, Pinky. Pinky, you okay? Yeah, you tired? Oh, wait, look at Romania. Oh, my goodness, they went to war with Romania as well. Why did they go to war with Romania? Oh, they were guaranteed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is why historical AI focuses could be very interesting. We're gonna need that Romanian territory, too. Oh, please. I hope the Soviets lose, but let's be real. <laughs> They're probably not. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. The games of the 11th Olympiad. The games are concluded. Cool. And let's do anti-stuff propaganda. Prepare for civil war. I don't want to prepare for civil war. Who wants civil war? I want to rally against this Veno. They lose loyalty and popularity. We want to imprison their leaders, so... it's kind of what we were forced to do. Propaganda. Uh, you might as well do it now. Why not? I don't think we've really that much else besides trying to get to partial mobilization. But we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Oh my goodness. I can't even send volunteers, can I? Why, Soviet Union? Why, 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 why? How strong is it? Oh, I got a good amount of manpower. Some factories, 47 divisions. Oh boy, that is... Honestly, if Stalin does that, he should have zero war support. Or, you know, lower war support. Like, that's a bit too much. I mean, he went into war with them. So... 
I don't know. Oh, man. We're going to need that Turkish territory. And by Turkish territory, I'm talking just Adirne sometime. As well as all of Dobruja. Oh, my goodness. Why? Why? The high left on historical focuses. Actually, what is Germany up to? Guaranteed independence of Manchuko. Okay. Okay, why not? We're going to prison the leaders. Savannah leaders, so rally against them. Now we're going to prison them. I'm going to get rid of these guys first. Persecute the activists. We need more manpower, support equipment, and infantry equipment as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Which we have no guns. We're getting some trucks and support equipment, which is not bad. It's still 36. Let's grab some radio. 3 4 3 plus 5%. Not bad. Disperse Industry 1. Great. I'm going to go ahead and grab synthetic oil experiments just in case. So. And support the Agarian Union. Actually, right now we can already abolish the monarchy. That is not a bad thing. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and form a popular block just because. Ooh, actually, minus 15% political power gain. We already have minus 15%, so whoever we change it doesn't really matter. Get more democracy. If stability is below 30% at the time this focus is completed, a civil war will start. I'm thinking, let's grab this. We get more daily political power, weekly stability, even more. And we get just stability, period. So, let's form a popular block. It takes 70 days, though. In order to form a strong, united block against authoritarianism and oppression in Bulgaria, we must lean towards socialist policies and see cohesion between left-wing political groups willing to fight against fascist and monarchist regimes. Now, we're going to do that just because we want more democracy support, because we, to do legislative elections, we need more than 50% support for the DP, which is basically the Democratic Party. So... Public calls for elections. The demonstrations of public dissent, which were once confined to limited areas, are now widespread. While people gather in the streets, the Tsar Boris loyalists find themselves at a crossroads. If we continue along this propaganda to spread, the referendum suggests both from within the party itself, as well as the opposition, may show that we do not have the support of the public. The unity we have strived for is giving away, or is giving way to a plurality of opinions united against us. Let the people be heard. Oh, crud. Even if a reform is happening, we must show our strength by suppressing this defiance. <sighs> is that because I didn't choose anything here down here yet? Open up political discourse. Go ahead and do that. Let the people be heard. I don't I don't want to lose political power again. Are you kidding me? We're barely getting any as at all. Hold a national referendum. We'll probably do that eventually, so. Alright, I just want to put down these leaders. That's all I want. Alright, so operation to imprison the Zveno leaders. The operation to capture the leaders of the Zveno have been successful. Several important figures, including Kimon Georgiev himself, have been arrested dealing a critical blow to the organization. They won't be able to cause trouble anymore. we got more political power. Hey, that's great. Now, we can raid their popularity and their faction by 15. That's not bad. Rally against them? It's not enough. we gotta, we got to raid them. 103. Not bad. Prepare for civil war? No, I don't, definitely don't want to do that. Expand civil support? No, 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 no. Discredit government? No, I don't want to lose stability. That would be stu too stupid of us to do. Debt conversions? It's still 36. Let's grab a 1936 carrier hull. And then after that, we want to make sure maybe we get some casemate secondary batteries, because we can keep one, one research slot for ship stuff. Well, we should actually be doing land auction too. Whoops, my bad. Whatever. What is Germany up to? Because well, actually, what is the UK up to? They're civil. Oh, they went fascist, right? That's that's right. A changing course. Let's see. France is going. We're not sure. Germany's doing something. Spain is going to probably explode eventually. Soviet Union's finishing up the five-year plan. This has got to be a really bloody civil war. Or not civil war. It's just a real war here. Capitulated. Wow, that's a lot of losses. That's actually... That's a... I don't, I'm not sure what they were doing compared to like... Oh, there goes Spain. The Soviet Union? I mean... Come on, guys. Come on. Please don't kill each other. Let's destroy it. Beautiful. No popularity. No loyalty. Typical. And calls for public elections. The demonstrations of public dissent, which were confined once to limited areas, are now widespread. While people gather in the streets, Tsar Boris loyalists find itself at the crossroads. Uh, same thing happened again. We lose political power? No. Oh, uh, they'll probably cause a civil war eventually, maybe. But don't, please don't cause a civil war. We're gonna get down there eventually. We're gonna abolish the monarchy. We have 55 political power, or stability, I mean. But come on. Weekly stability, legislative actions. I guess we got to rush down here, I guess, next. But I want to get full voting rights first. I want that extra weekly st stability. Because right now, we're not 
it's not changing because we have this minister here even though we have this one second national catastrophe so it's not going down it's not going up oh my goodness stop it stop it stop it <laughs> form a popular block full voting rights we can still get down there a little later. Let's just abolish the monarchy. The monarchy may have been a useful tool in maintaining stability in Bulgaria during the early years of the Bulgarian Third State. But after devastating wars and tyrannical regimes, people have lost faith in this antiquated system of government. The time has come to abolish it. More de democracy, political power, stuff like that. And hopefully we can... Oh, we still need to persecute these people, but... We need support equipment and infantry equipment. And this Venola has been destroyed. For the past few weeks, police forces have been rooting out the remain... Rem remain... Remains... Of this Veno, which was already severely weakened and disorganized by the lack of strong leadership after the rest we made prior to this operation. We can now safely say that the Sveno has been ceased, or has ceased to exist in Bulgaria, which can only benefit the country and the government. Wonderful news, we 100 poli 120 political power, more popularity non aligned, which is gonna kinda hurt us, and stability. Oh, crud. How much do we have? 30. Oh, we get less than 30%. Ooh, abolish the monarchy. How much support do we need for this? More than 30%. So, ooh. So, uh, so this is going to not go anymore. Wonderful news. So now we... Oh, we can still take it. Okay. That's still fine. We didn't lose any progress yet. Minus... That was 10%. Whatever. Cool. So now we need compassionate adjustment. Industry reform, which I want to do, but we're going to wait to get women's rights activists. But in the meantime, we're going to go partial mobilization. Beautiful. And now we're going to discredit the broad socialists. Because we with the same thing like... The Sveno, if we get rid of this group, it'll be great. Like, we will get bonuses and stuff, good stuff like that. So, that's exactly what we would like to do. In two days, ban social media? Sure, why not? They have too much popularity and too much loyalty from the people. Way too much. Polish monarchy, cool. I will say one thing about playing in vanilla. It's actually fairly speedy, I guess, for now. It's 1937, January. Happy 1937, my friends. But, oh, rally against them? Oh, yeah. Oh, joint act with these guys. That would not be bad. Fund it? We need more popularity, these guys, but I want to destroy these guys first, so we'll do that. Yeah, it's fairly speedy sometimes, like, especially when you get mods involved. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 Romania, why? But when you get, like, mods involved, like, the speed of which you can do stuff gets pretty slow. We're going to go with a defensive doctrine just because we're going to need to defend in the future. Oh my goodness. But at least it's fairly speedy for now. Imprison the leaders? Aw, oh, yeah. I know I'm spending a lot of political power doing this, but it doesn't matter. 0.54 a day. Ugh, not great, but what else can we do? We have some trucks. We're working better on support equipment and even guns, but even then, it's it's okay. It's not great. But I can say that the Hungarian Union really kind of likes us. They're very, pop they're very, very popular. And they're pretty gosh darn loyal to us. So, radios? Happy 37, like I said earlier. Let's grab some more output, because we need it immediately. Now, why did I choose this first output versus concentrated? I have no idea. I normally just choose that for fun. Let's see. Casemate, secondary batteries, and we'll grab this one. So, And then after this one's done, we're going to start working on our land doctrine, which will probably go superior firepower. I don't know. That's the one I just normally choose, so... Operation to imprison leaders of the Broad Socialists. Operation to capture the leaders of the Broad Socialists has been successful. Police forces have detained most of the important figures related to the organization, dealing a critical blow to the Broad Socialists. We get more political power. Great. And we're going to raid them again? Why not? Their loyalty will go down to five. We could, we could have done that one, but that's okay. Abolish monarchy? Awesome. So now we need more than 50% support for the DP, and that's why we got to get full voting rights for women as we continue to ignore the industry. If we want freedom and equality and progress to prevail in the country, it is time to grant women full voting rights and support the union of Bulgarian women and its task to raise social awareness on women's issues in Bulgaria. More stability, please. Democracy on the rise. Yeah, we get it. Oh, Turkey, please don't. No, you got in a circle, but you still have a port. Don't lose, Chapazon. That seems like quite the challenge. With Turkey, immediately hold off against the Soviets. That is nuts. Revolutionary communist, huh? Oh, communist revolutionary. I We could go there, but I'm going to save up political power to get this full voting rights for women first. As we have continued to discredit the socialists here. Still training. Good. Good. Actually, do you have an upgrade? 
He has a cavalry leader, but I don't want to use cavalry eventually. I want to use combined arms, so we'll get some motorized eventually. So cavalry, it's only 10% more defense, which is not bad, but we'll, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll save this. Maybe we'll save this. We don't, we don't have to do that stuff immediately yet. Destroy the Broad Socialists. 30 days. Great. They've got some loyalty. Actually, that's weird. They have no popularity, but they're loyal to us. I'll take it. Why not? Why not? And also, we're not going to change our resource or trade law. Because, well, as you can see, we have literally nothing except for like three aluminum and one chromium here in Bulgaria. This is really sad. Oh, man. I hope that Greece is going democratic so we can maybe ally with them later. They're kind of democratic. Bring home in the exiled Republicans, huh? I have no idea what Greece is like at the time of this recording. Shock plan. That's the German plan, probably. Foreign monopolies. Debt to the IFC. International Financial Commission. Cool. We're going to grab this next, even though we have no ships to do anything with. But I'm still going to research it just because we can. And then we've got to start doing a land doctrine. Actually, you'll be done in 12 days. Let's begin. Oh, Broad Socialists destroyed. Look at that. For the past few weeks, police forces have been rooting out the remnants of the Broad Socialists, which were already severely weakened and disorganized by the lack of strong leadership after the arrests we made prior to the operation. We can also simply say that the Broad Socialists have ceased to exist in Bulgaria, which can only benefit the country and its government. It took some time to get some more stability, some political power, and more non-aligned. God dang it. 10%. But we do get it. The effects are mitigated because it gets minus 5% communism, which is okay. So we went from 41% to what? 36 point. Oh god, that's not good. But once we get full floating rights, hey, they're on fire. Cool. So after this, we'll, we could do that. We could do that. Uh, man. And then we can finally start doing acquire modern tools. So, Bulgarian industry mainly consists of old-fashioned, small-scale manufacturing and handicrafts. We need the appropriate tools in order to build up and develop the foundations of a modern industry, which would be a great, great thing. There we go. Okay, Japan wants to go communist, too. And I was, we'll really boost, boost these guys up a lot, so. Alright, let's get this for more weekly stability, political power gain, and more daily democracy support, which because we absolutely need it right now. That looks really sad, Japan. Turkey is gone. God dang it. Wow, we're surrounded by socialists. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, no, you have a generic focus tree now. No. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the Japanese People's Republic. Oh, please win. I hope, you know, if you go communist, you got to go all the way. Please, please, please win. Because that screwed up Japan's focus tree. God, you got to, you got to somewhat enjoy it when things get so screwed up. Oh, not really. Uh, we could, actually, we could, hmm. Anti-democratic raids, fascism. Well, it's just non-aligned. We can't get rid of non-aligned, which still needs a rework. They really need it. Paradox really needs to rework the ideology tree here. Just ideology branch. We're going to go immediately grab base strike just because I want to get more daily naval XP so we can edit things before we need to do anything else. So, we could do this stuff. I could do industry reformer, but I don't know. Wait, I do want to get Nikola Petkov, which does give us more daily democracy some more support as well. As well as more daily political power, max factories in the state, so... But let's immediately go ahead and march on Sara Zagora. The National Social Movement, emulating the methods used by the Union of Young Bulgarian Legions years ago to increase its popularity, has organized a march from Sofia to Stara Zagora. Walking by torch like, like the Nazis did, protesters demand more drastic measures to oppress and eradicate subversive Bolshevik groups, the creation of a national workers' syndicate against the class struggle, and more active state intervention in the Bulgarian economy and society. So far, it seems that the march is becoming quite popular among urban youth, so if we want to stop this type of de demonstration, we better do it sooner than later. It's not even a general protest. More war support and fascist support. I like the war support, though. Don't get me wrong. We must silence them before they, before they come, become a great threat. We lose stability. That's fine. L lower that. Repress them. Ooh, we might still do that. I'm gonna, I'll let you guys choose on the national spirit, though. Let's see. Fund them. You get 50 more for the same cost as fund them. That's good. That'd be very good. We could do that, but that's not really worth it. Synthetic oil experiments. I don't know why I chose that one. Let's grab some superior firepower. Even though we could probably use mass assault because it gives us more manpower and stuff like that. But I don't really want to hurt our army capabilities because superior firepower is just so good. It's just too good, man. Too good. And let's get through one more focus before we call it an episode as well. Czechoslovakia is looking pretty nice because we can't do anything down here. The Salonica Solonic Agreement. Ooh. Opinion of Bulgaria has to be at least 25. So we'll start working on that once we get legislative elections. And we actually get even more weekly stability, which would be very nice. We're going to be a very, very stable nation. Which is a good thing. 
Hey, look at that. We already have one naval XP. Who cares about the army? Who cares if we can't even build or train or edit soldiers right now? Because I still haven't showed you that national spirit. Army restrictions. Minus 25% factory and dockyard output. Cannot increase conscription law or declare wars. We cannot train units, disband units, or edit unit templates. And we cannot produce armor, aircraft, or ships. Woof. And we're the IMRO. So, that's why we should probably go down this pathway. Because even with more Navy XP, we still can't do anything. But hey, we can build ships if we... Well, we can't really build ships, but we can edit ship templates if we really want to when we get there. Which means we're going to need some fighters. Hmm. But we're going to get some construction first. Joint act with them. Ten. What does this do? National appoint members? Yes. Oh, that's how we get the guy. That's how we get the minister by doing this, in which we get the dude and less faction loyalty from these guys, which would be great. 85 and 90, that's not enough. I think we need it like 100 where we're going, so. Not bad. God, 70 day focuses, they take so long. My goodness. In which we have currently 39.93 a day. And the effects are actually mitigated to what? 0 0.03 a day, Jesus. Yeah, that's why we should get this other guy as fast as possible so we can get even more daily democracy support. That'd be nice. Currently get 0.55 political power a day, but it calls for public elections. No. Actually, it does give us more daily democracy support, which wouldn't be bad, but I don't want to hurt my political power right now. Actually, we could hurt it. Hmm. Hmm. Minus 50%. We actually... I don't think we'd actually lose political power. Let's just let the people be heard. 0.68. That's not bad. Well, that's actually... Oh, actually... Oh, no, no, no. That's really bad. Ooh, more than 50% support. Oh, that might have been a wrong call to call. But let's go and negotiate Bulgarian rearmament. The Bulgarian army is in a sorry state due to the Treaty of Nuevi Sur signs restrictions, and we're almost defenseless against invasion from any border country. We must negotiate the lift of these restrictions sooner rather than later, lest our greedy neighbors decide to start another Balkan war. But that's going to end today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we shall hopefully become democratic and push democracy in the Balkans. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.